This is question one from the non-calculator question on the April 2019 SAT. College Board is asking you to write an equation based on a word problem. If you have not already solved this problem, since it's from a recent real test, I would suggest you pause the video, work the problem for 90 seconds, and then come back. It's okay, I'll wait. Okay, let's look at this problem. Tony spends $80 per month on public transportation. Ten ride passes cost $12.50, and G represents the number of ten ride passes. Single ride passes cost $1.50, and T is the number of single ride passes. If I have a highlighter, I like to highlight relevant points in similar colors. If I don't have a highlight, I like to have underlined styles where I know, oh, the ones with the square corners go together, 10 ride passes, and the number of 10 ride passes, which is G, and then over here, single ride passes, and T is the number of single ride passes. That helps me to pair up the correct numbers when I get to writing the equation, because it's not obvious why G would be 10 ride passes and T would be single ride passes. And since the total spent is $80 and the total spent is G times the cost of 10 ride passes, so the number of 10 ride passes times their individual cost, plus the number of single ride passes times the cost of each of those, those two quantities should be equal. So $80 is equal to T times $1.50 plus G times $12.50. And this last choice is 1250 g plus 150t, so that's the total amount spent equals 80, the total amount that Tony spends, so D would be the correct answer. College Board often asks this question, and once I've filmed a collection of videos with similar questions from the SAT prep book, I'll post a link to the associated playlist in the comments. Come back soon for my next SAT math video, with math there's always more.